Hi there. So a common problem with laptops is that they can get very hot. They can even overheat. The bottom gets hot to touch. The top can sometimes get hot as well. And the fan inside the laptop, if it has one, might spin very fast in an attempt to cool everything down. If the laptop runs very hot, it might slow itself down so that it's not working as fast as it was intended to. The laptop might crash and could even turn itself off when reaching a critical temperature. So what can you do to get it running cooler? Here are eight easy ways to cool your laptop. Number one, many laptops have vents underneath. If these vents are covered by your legs, a cushion or anything else, the laptop will get hotter much quicker. But if you're using your laptop on a hard flat surface, the laptop's small feet will raise it up a little which will allow air to get to the bottom vents and help cool the laptop. Even if your laptop doesn't have vents at the bottom, it will still run cooler when the bottom of it has a little room to breathe. Number two, if you're using your laptop in a hot place, such as outdoors on a hot day or indoors in a hot room, this will contribute to the laptop running at higher temperatures. But using your laptop in a cooler area will definitely help it run cooler. Number three, try placing a book or something similar at the back of the laptop. This can really help cool its components from underneath. Instead of using a book, you could use a laptop stand. Some of these stands have an adjustable height so you can position your laptop however you like it. Number four, take all the vents of the laptop, if yours has any, to make sure they're not blocked up by anything such as dust or anything else that shouldn't be there. Number five, changing your laptop's power settings will help reduce the amount of heat the laptop creates in the first place. To change Windows 10 power settings, in the search box, type Control Panel. Next, make sure Large Icons is selected. Then choose the power options from here. Choose a balanced power plan or better still, Power Saver, to help your laptop run cooler. Then click on Choose when to turn off the display. Here you can allow Windows to turn the monitor off after a certain amount of time when the computer is not in use. Or put the laptop into sleep mode when not in use. Both of these options will also help your laptop run cooler. To change the power options on a Mac laptop, Click on the Apple icon, choose System Preferences, and then Energy Saver. Next, choose better power options, such as allowing the laptop to sleep after a shorter amount of time when not in use. Check out the Powered by Battery options too. Number six. Using a laptop cooler is a great way to help any laptop run at lower temperatures. They're often powered by plugging them into a spare USB port on the laptop. Once plugged in, the fans in the cooler will spin to help reduce the laptop heat. Number seven, having lots of programs open will add more heat to your laptop. So close down any programs that you're not using right now. Even closing tabs in a browser can help your laptop run a little cooler. And finally, number eight, turn your laptop off, give it some time to cool down, then using a can of compressed air, blow through your laptop's vents. Keep the can upright and don't shake it. Keep going until you've blown through all the main vents on the laptop. If your laptop has vents for its speakers, there's no need to blow air through those vents. After doing this, you may find that the temperature of the laptop has dropped significantly. So that was eight easy ways to cool your laptop without opening it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.